final of the women's 200 meters individual medley SM10 is next we have three Netherlands swimmers taking the start in this one there's Lisa Kruger what a swim she had to make this final Chantel Zedevelt the breaststroke European champion in lane two Bianca Papp goes in at lane number three Sophie Pasco who can challenge the world record holder in lane number four? Maybe it's this young lady, Aurelie Rivard, already a champion in 50 freestyle. Olivia Jablonska, she will be strong in the butterfly leg. And Jane Mang, well, that's not Jane Mang in your picture there. That's Margie Oosterhoos from the Netherlands. Chang Meng in lane number seven from China and Margie Oosterhuis from the Netherlands completes that lineup in lane number eight. There's Zhang Meng going in lane number seven for China. Well, Sophie Pasco was absolutely supreme here in the heats this morning. The great New Zealand champion. She was the champion here 12 months ago in the Commonwealth Games in this very event. But the heat time that she swam this morning was actually faster than she went in the Commonwealth Games last year. So in great shape, Sophie Pascoe. She may challenge her own world record tonight of 225. She's made a very good start. Aureli Rivard of Canada will be second as they finish the 50 button line. Well, Sophie Pasco does well to generate a very powerful double leg, double pulsing kick using just one leg on her butterfly. And you can see she's rolled over onto a backstroke, but still you wouldn't realize that there is an imbalance in the leg kick. It's still so fluid. There's real fluid, fluid motion. And the hands go into the water very, very cleanly. Little finger first, very little air around them. That enables the hands to lock into the water. And, well, she's making the best of the rest look very ordinary indeed as she moves now onto the breaststroke leg. And as the breaststroke legs come together, as I said earlier, the feet come together like the blades of a propeller, but the left foot pretty much works off the right foot. It's the balance that makes the kick work. Sophie Pascoe has an imbalanced leg kick, but she's so strong in her core that she manages to make that drive, make it work for her, and produces this very, very balanced breaststroke that we're seeing right here in the center of our screens. She is absolutely superb, Sophie Pascoe. She went through halfway at 106.66, around about a second down on the world record pace. She set to win the Paralympic gold medal in London in 2012. She's now sitting on 150.76, still about a second outside world record pace, but it doesn't matter for Sophie Pascoe. Surely she is on her way to another gold medal for the New Zealand team. Aureli Rivard in second and in third place is Sang Meng from China. But here comes Sophie Pascoe, 25 metres to go for the great New Zealand swimmer. Sophie Pascoe with a black cap is going to get another gold medal for New Zealand. We'll keep an eye on the clock, 225.65. It was a superb performance from Pascoe outside the world record, but a gold medal for Sophie Pascoe. 226.51, she takes it comfortably, 3.8 seconds ahead of Aureli Rivard of Canada and Zhang Meng of China, an Asian record for the bronze medal position. Well, championship record swim for Sophie Pasco. You can see that one really hurt her. She put a lot into that, but she was just technically better stronger, fitter than the rest of the competition. Sophie Pascoe, she looks exhausted there. She looks up towards the scoreboard. She was around about a second off her world record pace, right from the start, actually, the butterfly was around about a second down on her pace from the London Paralympic Games, and she maintained the advantage as she went through the 200 meters individual medley. She is such a superb athlete, Sophie Pascoe, and she was a clear winner in that 200 IM. 
Sophie Pascoe takes the gold medal for New Zealand in a new championship record of 226.51. Rivard from Canada, silver, and Zhang from China, the bronze.